I'm Belinda Henley at Zealandia, a wildlife sanctuary in the heart of New Zealand's capital city, Wellington, where groundbreaking conservation work is bringing some of the world's most endangered species back from the brink of extinction. New Zealand, a South Pacific island paradise that took almost 80 million years to evolve, has almost been ecologically destroyed in the last few hundred. It's a decline that began with the arrival of humans and the animals they brought with them. In a lot of ways, this fence really is your greatest achievement, isn't it? Absolutely. Without the fence, we, couldn't, uh, we wouldn't have achieved what we've got today. It's our skin. Almost nine kilometres of skin, designed to keep out all pests and predators. The curved top stops climbers, such as possums, cats and rats. And the underground skirt excludes the burrowers, like ferrets and stoats. And then the hard work really started, which well, was actually been... getting everything from this side of the fence out. Out. Yes. Since the fence went up 10 years ago, the only predators on site are in Raywin's freezer. So this is where the baddies end up. I hope it's not mixed up with your ice cream. <laughs> No, we're very careful about that. I think what we've got in here is a possum. So it's more than 12 years since we've had a, a live possum in the sanctuary. And it's hard to believe something as cute as this uh, could be such a, a devastating That's pest. Right. That certainly um, has an impact on the vegetation. So they eat lots of things. We've got rata in the valley that are struggling to survive or struggle to survive before the possums were taken out. But they also, we now know that possums eat eggs and chicks of birds, and so a really good animal to get rid of. Here we've got a stoat. Stoats will kill birds as big as takahe. So mm. ever since that eradication program, no stoats have been found? Not inside. a single stoat. No live stoats since 1999. And so the birds are really <laughs> flourishing as a result? Absolutely. It's terrific. 30 species now live free from introduced predators inside the mainland island created by Zealandia's fence. Among them reptiles, birds and fish. There's not many places in the world the national media gather for a glimpse of a couple of birds. In this case, New Zealand's most endangered, the flightless takahe. Two of the only 225 left in the world. Takahe join an astounding collection of some of the world's most endangered creatures. Among them, the Tuatara, a reptile remnant from the time of the dinosaurs, which had been extinct from mainland New Zealand since the 1700s. Not so sure about what we're going to find in this box. And another prehistoric creature, the giant weta. So this is the only place in mainland New Zealand that we can see these giant weta. Yeah, this is the Cook Strait giant weta. Rats love them, so they became extinct on the mainland or oh, 100 years ago, and so we've had to bring these wetters back in from offshore islands. It's so thrilling. I love them. But the real stars of the sanctuary are the stunning collection of birds, including the kakariki, whose rowdy call hadn't been heard in the city for decades. That's the red-crowned kakariki, missing from Wellington for over 100 years, and now we've got the sound of them back. It's just wonderful. But perhaps the biggest success story is that of the little spotted kiwi, which are closely monitored by the country's leading kiwi expert, Dr Hugh Robertson. Let's try here, see if you get the signal. What are you listening out for? Oh yeah, yeah you can hear the beat. That beat? Yep. We released um, 40 birds here 10 years ago and we determined there were about 95 to 100 birds now. I would love mm. to see one. We'll try. We've got the dog here to help us locate it. Come on, Cara. Come on. <laughs> We've gone past it now. The signal's more... Over this way. Yeah, we can try up there. But the transmitter can only take you part of the way. It ahead. takes Kara, the Kiwi dog, to bring you home. Yeah, I think it's just in here somewhere. That's where I reckon it'll be down here somewhere. There, yeah, but this is the only way you can, unfortunately. They don't like being pulled out of their burrows. They don't. Oops, there you go. Is it a so, he or a so she? This, this is a he. One of the features of Kiwi is that they've got their nostrils right down here where my finger's pointing. 
rather than at the base of the bill like all other birds. So they um, use that sense of smell to hunt for, for insects and sh sharp little claws. Yeah, no, those claws do look yeah. a bit vicious. Yes. <laughs> You've got a few scars. Yes. Just rest them like you would a baby there. Feel a bit of pressure. This is worse than holding a newborn baby. Such a precious creature. Do you have any idea how lucky I am to be doing this? It's amazing. You get a biscuit for that, don't you? The Kiwi may be the poster child for Zealandia's success, but all creatures great and small are vital to this shining example of ecological rejuvenation. The trick now is how to spread this success to the rest of mainland New Zealand.